It is the brand new Bundesliga Tots, and we have this Team of the Season Angelino card. Left wing back, Bundesliga Spanish. Pretty easy to link. Four star skill moves, three star weak foot, so okay for a full back. Uh, the weak foot should be a bit higher in my opinion, but it is what it is. Five foot nine, nice. High medium work rates, bit dodgy on a full back, but it's okay. Especially if we're playing like a three five two or five back, anything like that. Now, like I said, good links. Pace, great acceleration, but his sprint speed's a bit low, so you do want to put, probably put a shadow or anchor, but the problem is, because he's already got maxed out acceleration, it'd only put, like, even though shadow plus, plus 10, it'll basically be plus 5, because he can't move the acceleration, so it'll only be plus 5 on sprint speed, which would just be, like, 87, so that's probably the max you can get that, which is a little sad, but it is what it is. Shooting-wise, isn't actually terrible, he's got good positioning. Finishing is shocking, but great shot power. Long shots and volleys aren't great, but they're not shocking. Passing out of this world. There's not a single passing stat that I can see that I say is terrible. Uh, Dribbling-wise, agility is a little low. Great balance, great reactions. The only problem with his dribbling is he's got terrible composure, which you can't touch anyway. Defensively, amazing. Defensive awareness at 90 with the anchors, okay. And then physicality, great apart from strength. Now... He's got the flare trait shot on the outside of the foot trait trot. So, yeah, we'll get into a game with him and we'll see how he plays. Um, it's a good dribble in here. It's a good run. Stuff here. Ref. Great tackle there from Angelina. Alright, where's he gonna run? Alright, that's okay. Dribbling. Alright, where does he make this run here? That's good. No. Still got the ball. Dangerous position. Go the long shot. Ah, oh, it's not a bad effort. Uh, East here. Nice run. Good cross. Ah. Oh. Here he is. Still running with the ball. Still going. Could he get another good cross in? Can. Oh, good save. You know, good cross in the middle. Oh. Here we go with Angelino. Run again. Angelino. Oh, that was a really good strike there from Angelio. Just hit the post. Good run. It's not a bad shot, to be fair. Angelino, nice stuff there. He seems to be getting real loads of crosses in, which is really nice. He's definitely more of an attacking fullback, as you can see. Good shot. Right, lads. So, my final thoughts on this Angelino card is he's a very good card as an attacking fullback. Now, defensively, obviously expect good stuff from him, but because of them high medium work rates, he's not someone you just want to play as a left back. You definitely want to play him as more of a left wing back role, which is his base card. Now, Overall, as an attacking fullback, he did really well. Got loads of crosses in, probably over 10 for me. He had about five or six shots as well. You know, shooting wasn't great, but he tested the keeper a couple of times. When he did make a tackle, it was good, but it's just the amount of times he did make a tackle was not that much at all because of that high medium work rates. Now, pace was good. 
Shooting wasn't the best. Good shot power, you know. He did test keeper a bit. Great passing. Dribbling was really good. Uh, defensively solid when he did make a tackle. And the main problem was his strength, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, overall, it was a pretty solid card. Wait, oh, what am I doing? Would I say he's worth it? For the amount of coins he is, yes. He's 120k at the moment. He's gone down to about 110 since uh, playing that match. So yeah, overall, I'd say he's worth the amount of coins. He'll probably go down to like 50k eventually. Uh, yeah, he's a good card in my opinion. He's pretty decent to link as well. So yeah, overall, lads, I'll give it a solid 7.5 out of 10.